Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Sometimes I see a site on the intranet that makes me stop and say, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. This is a thumbnail from a video, and while I don't want to criticize the video maker because you know they have the ability to use music and other things effectively, this is one of the most bizarre thumbnails I have ever seen. Obviously, it's supposed to be a space shuttle. How many things can you see wrong with this image? Just look carefully. I mean, if we put the actual Space Shuttle Columbia side by side, you might notice, for example, that the leading edges of the wings are black when they are white in the design. It's missing things like the flag and the insignia, and oh yes, the boosters are Soyuz rockets for some reason. Now, to the artist's credit, at least the size of the two vehicles seem to be correctly proportioned according to the real world versions. But as you stare at this, more crazy things turn up. For example, what the heck are those rocket engines on the back of the shuttle and why are they not firing? With the dinky little, well, practically non-existent engine bells, it does look a lot more like the Soviet Buran. But the Soyuz are also missing huge chunks. First of all, there's no central core. You've only got the four radial boosters, so I've no idea how that's supposed to work, and of course each of these boosters is lacking the four exhaust nozzles, but we do appear to be producing rocket exhaust, which makes very little sense. Obviously the genius that designed this realized that the Korolev Cross would be kind of hazardous while they were still attached to the space shuttle, so they eliminated the central booster and therefore has no uh, booster staging. But that designer didn't think to eliminate the upper stages or indeed the payload fairings. But look, while this is easy to mock, I am here to take inspiration. This is a shuttle that is in the Steam Workshop for Kerbal Space Program. And guess what? We can replace those boosters with Soyuz boosters. Now, I know many of you think that Kerbal Space Program is not the most accurate simulator by any means, but we are simulating a space shuttle with Soyuz boosters attached. A US-Russian collaboration which goes way beyond the level of integration seen in the space station. The truth is, such a ridiculous contraption would not fly. The thrust on a Soyuz is about 500 tons at launch, the thrust from the main engines on the space shuttle are about 180 tons each. Uh, the space shuttle stack weighs about 2,000 tons, but if you swapped out the solid rocket boosters for Soyuz, it would drop it down to about 600, which leaves it just short by a few, maybe about 100 tons. This thing would sit on the pad and go nowhere. But who cares about reality when you are somebody just creating a thumbnail for a video? So look, the original shuttle design is on the Steam Workshop, it's by FFO Bagel, and with the Soyuz replacement and only of the four engines, I was totally able to put this into space and indeed into orbit. But then again, Kerbal Space Program did allow me to accidentally fly a nuclear submarine into space. And if I weren't having to jump on a plane in the next few hours, I would go with Mr. Kumquat's suggestion, which turns the whole concept on its head. Surely there's a lot more fun to be had here. I know this isn't a very scientific video, but that original thumbnail just made me crack up so much that I had to do something about it. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. Whoa, 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 hold, hold on there. I, you didn't think that this actually worked first time. I mean, I've been a little rusty in my Kerbal recently, and sure enough, it turns out that strapping Soyuz rocket boosters to a space shuttle doesn't balance particularly well. The mass is different, the engines are different, and the crashes are all, well, very Kerbal. And it would be a shame if I weren't to share these amazing moments of physics and rockets together in one place. So, it's time for another Kerbal Space Program failure compilation.